This is a continuous slippage magnetorheological actuator for an active suspension system. The actuator is connected on two points. One on the frame of the vehicle, and one on the wheel. The actuator can be separated in five principal subsystems. The motor and gearbox. The magnetorheological clutches. The internal gears. The rod. And the casing. The electrical motor always turns in the same direction, and leads the gearbox. The gearbox transfers the torque of the motor to the two output gears which are rotating in opposite directions. The rotation is then transferred to the clutches, which also turn in opposite directions. Inside the casing, there are gears that increase the output torque of the clutches. These gears work like a rack and pinion to apply upward, or downward forces on the rod. This rod is supported by two ball splines that guide it with low friction. Each clutch can only push the rod in one direction. When the right clutch is engaged, the rod is pulled up. Inversely, when the left clutch is engaged, the rod is pushed down. Now, how does a continuous slippage clutch work? This magnetorheological clutch is composed of three subsystems. The rotating input, the rotating output, and the fixed coil holder. The coil holder contains an electromagnetic coil, and a set of bearings. The output contains a set of friction rings, and the output shaft. The input contains a set of friction rings, and the input gear. Here's how this clutch is engaged. The space between the friction rings of the input and output is filled with a magnetorheological fluid, which is represented in green. When the fluid is subjected to a magnetic field, its viscosity increases. The stronger the field is, the thicker the fluid gets, and more torque is transferred between the input and output friction rings. We can now see how the whole assembly works. When the electromagnetic coil at the right clutch is activated, the right clutch engages, pushing the rod up. The opposite happens when the left clutch is engaged. Thanks to the magnetorheological clutches, this actuator is backlash-free, has low friction, and is highly back-drivable. It has a peak power of 6,500 watts, a peak force of 5,000 newtons, a max speed of 2 meters per second, and a force bandwidth of 92 hertz.